Hey guys, it's Gaming Team Gamer, and I am back here again to make you guys another video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, guys, guys, I did not expect to go ahead and do this unboxing right now. I thought I was going to go ahead and do this unboxing next week, but uh, I guess uh, today's a good time to go ahead and do it. <laughs> now, uh, to go ahead and let you guys know uh, why this unboxing is happening right now, because I wanted to go ahead and do this unboxing next week. But, it looks like it's not going to happen. So, here's the story. So, for the people that don't know, um, I wanted to go ahead and get a uh, Nintendo Switch on Black Friday. And so, when I went to GameStop yesterday, and I went to go ahead and ask, uh, you know, the employees that work at GameStop that I go to. Because I, I went to go ahead and, uh, you know, pick up a uh, something at GameStop. And I asked them if they have any uh, uh you know any deals on the nintendo switch you know for it to go on sale or anything like that they said that there actually is nothing for the nintendo switch uh to be on sale and i'm talking about the consoles not the accessories and all that stuff i'm talking about the actual console and they said that that the nintendo switch console is not going to be on sale and that right there was like why and they said uh, something with nintendo of them not doing Black Friday sales and all that stuff. And that right there was like, oh man, that sucks. <laughs> and so the woman said, yeah, well, you know, well, <laughs> there's nothing we can do. I mean, they basically said that we can't do any Black Friday sales and all that stuff. So right there, that's what they said. And so I was like, do they have any in stock? And they said, yeah, we have some in stock. And I told them, uh, how much is it? Uh, they told me it's like 250 pre-owned or of course 300 for new. And I was like... Ah, screw it then. <laughs> Since there's no sale uh, for the Nintendo Switch, I was like, hey, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and buy the Nintendo Switch. And I went to went to the bank, got some money, went back to GameStop, got a Nintendo Switch, I got a uh, controller and, uh, you know, the Pro Controller and the screen protector, you know. Because I did see a bunch of videos of people having some problems with the uh, Nintendo Switch, you know, but that that right there was, you know, when the Nintendo Switch launched. And that was like, you know, two years ago when the Nintendo Switch launched. Man, it's been two years as, since the Nintendo Switch launched. Time go, goes by so freaking fast, man. Unbelievable. But yeah, I, I've watched some videos of people having some fails on the Nintendo Switch uh, launch. And it, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> so luckily for me, I was able to go ahead and wait. Before I go ahead and got my Nintendo Switch because uh, you know they might have changed some stuff or updated some stuff for the game, uh, the game console, and so yeah, picked the perfect time to go ahead and buy Nintendo Switch. I wasn't expecting to go ahead and get a Nintendo Switch right now. I want to go ahead and get it on Black Friday. I want to go ahead and get it on sale, but it didn't happen. So I was like, you know, what? screw it. I want to go ahead and play Pokemon because I do not want to get spoiled by any YouTube videos of the game, and I want to go ahead and play the game. So. Went to go ahead, GameStop, got the uh, Nintendo Switch, and uh, yeah, this is where we are right now. And to show you guys that I'm not lying, that I do not have a Nintendo Switch. Boom. Hold on a second, it's on the floor. I do not want to do anything bad to it. I don't want to drop it. Here it is. The Nintendo Switch. I was not expecting to go ahead and get this this week, but... Since there's no Black Friday sales, and since I do not want to wait any longer to go ahead and get spoiled from Pokemon Sword and Shield, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to, <laughs> I'll just get the game, and I got it. I got the game console. Dude, this is my first ever time ever having a Nintendo Switch, and uh, yeah, man, unbelievable. So. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Really awesome. Now, to show you guys what other stuff I got um, from GameStop and Nintendo Switch. So, um, I got a, a screen protector. Because this is one, um, this is uh, what people were, you know, saying that this is what you need. Because there's something with the dock. When you slide the dock, your Nintendo Switch on the dock, sometimes it scratches the screen. So, always have a screen protector for that. So, lucky for me, I was able to go ahead and get that. 
Um, I also got a uh, controller, you know, just in case if the joysticks uh, might be there might be some problem. I know some people said that there was some problems at the launch of the Nintendo Switch with the joysticks because sometimes they were you you slide them in and have them on your wrist, kind of like the Nintendo Wii, and sometimes the uh, the slider thing kind of gets stuck right there. So yeah, yeah, just in case I got the the Pro controller, and that's basically a, a Pikachu version, a Pokemon version of it. <laughs> I want to go ahead and get the actual Pro controller, but that right there is like seventy dollars. So I want to go ahead, and, you know, I want to go ahead and be cheap and get it for twenty five dollars. So yeah, and it's so funny that the controller looks like an Xbox controller. The only difference is is the Y and the X and the A and the B are kind of like switched. So um, uh, hold on a second. I have my uh, Xbox controller right here, so you can see them side by side. They're uh, they look kind of like the same, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that way there is what the controller looks like. So I had the controller, got the screen protector, and now for the main event, we have the Switch. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Uh, let's see how do I do this. Hopefully this won't be difficult as how I did the unboxing for the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Collector's Edition because that right there It wasn't a uh, Hard to go ahead and unbox it. It's just uh, I didn't want to drop the <laughs> night vision goggles, so um, But if you guys have not checked out my unboxing for uh, Crap this is hard. Holy shit How people are able to do this? I have no idea without <laughs> messing up the box. Okay, so, so far I've basically ripped the box up. Ah, oh, just great. Yeah, they made this one a little bit difficult to go ahead and open. Actually, no, hold on a second. Wait, do they have tape on here? Or is it supposed to... <sighs> okay, so, uh... <laughs> I did not see that at the bottom. That was my that was my bad. Okay, so what I was doing, I was opening it right here. I was trying to get this freaking thing open, and I was whipping the box. Do, do you see this? Look at this. I whipped the box, and right now I just saw that there's a slip right here that you can just go ahead and open it up and just open it like this. Call me a dumbass in the comments. Call, just, just say, dude, you're so freaking stupid. Why didn't you check at the bottom? I deserve the hate. <laughs> but you know, whatever. My first time ever, ever having this console, so give me a break, guys. You know, it's kind of like the first time when I got my first Xbox One, and uh, actually that box wasn't really that bad. Um, I still do have the box. Yeah, it's uh, right here. It's uh, oh crap, that broke. Uh, yeah. Here's a box right here for the Xbox One, which I have, and it's the uh, the Halo uh, the Halo Master Chief Collector's Edition. So that right there is uh, what I got, and it does have the slider on the top. So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, uh, so far already messed up the box. So yeah, uh, give me hate. Um, oh yeah, also I forgot where is the. Uh, Hold on a second. Um, oh. Oh. There you go. I also got an SD card. Just in case. Because people said uh, the Nintendo Switch might not have enough memory to hold some games that you want. So, you know, get an SD card just in case. So, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yep. Here is Nintendo Switch. And we open this up. Voila! Look at that. Look at that beauty. You see the uh, Joy Cons and the uh, Switch screen of the Switch. Sweet. Okay, so here's one of the Joy Cons right here, the red one and the blue one. At GameStop, they told me if I wanted to go ahead and get the gray version of the Nintendo Switch or get the you know the the uh, regular version, and I went with the regular version because you know, you know, want to stay regular. So, one second. Okay, so this is how they feel. Be really cool. Nice. 
Uh, it's gonna feel weird when I play the game. I get used to it. It, it kind of has the same button as what the uh, Nintendo DS has, but the only problem is the Nintendo DS that the Nintendo DS does not have this. Um, which I do have my 3D DS to show you guys that the difference between those. So, <clears throat> so uh, right here. Actually, I do have two DSs. The other one is uh, right here. So yeah, here is uh, the actual control of the Nintendo DS, the 3DS, this is the XL that I have. And here is the other one, oh shit, that's gonna fall. <laughs> and here is the other version. So yeah, two different versions. So yeah, this is actually my brother's, and this is uh, mine that I bought last year, so. Uh, yeah, so, let's go ahead and open this up, and see the difference between these. So. Okay, you can see, look at the difference. Yeah, this one, it does have the buttons right here. But it, this, the DS does not have this uh, toggle stick right here. Which, the other one you see right here. Buttons right here. Sticks. Except this one has the D-pad. So, yeah, whatever. Anyway, so, <laughs> I'm just showing everybody what I have. In my collection of consoles, so yeah, so yeah, this is uh, what the uh, jewelry console look like. Very cool. And also, of course, you know, if you want to go in and play differently, play the other way like this, you know. So yeah, okay. So that way, there is that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take out the switch. Be gentle. I want to go ahead and mess up the uh, switch. Okay. So here is a. Uh, okay, take this out. Here's a switch right here. The screen, of course. And uh, the other stuff that comes with it. Um, hold on a second. Get that right there. And there's uh, the other stuff that comes for the switch. Which I'm going to be showing you guys later. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out and pop in the uh, Joy Cons on it. Now, some people say it's kind of like a tablet. Kind of looks like a tablet, but not really a tablet. So, all you have to do is just basically grab one of these and just like, uh, slide it like that. And it's really cool with the clicking. Just go like that. Goes like that. And this is how it feels. Oh, it feels really nice, dude. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get used to this. I mean, even though you have the toggle right here. Um, when you press the buttons and have it in your hands like this, uh, it, it doesn't look like it's a problem. So, but, you know, but just in case, uh, get the pro controller just in case if you want it. Um, so, right here uh, is the uh, the power, you know, to charge it up right here. And I think this, oh yeah, this is the uh, the stand. I can take this out. Oh, here we go. Got it. Here is the stand. So, you guys can go ahead and see it. One second. So, that's, that's the stand right there. Pretty, pretty cool. Now, people said that the stand is kind of cheap. So, I can uh, understand where people come from. <laughs> so, that's right there. Um, so, this is where you go ahead and put your game in. Right here. Basically, you just... Uh, Take that out and just uh, put the game in here. I'll just uh, put something in the closer for you guys. So this is where you put the game in. Just take that out, put your game in, and boom. That's how you do it. And uh, here is the headphone jack. It's really cool. Um, here is the volume. Really cool. And this right here is, I think it's the power button. Yes. This right here is the power button. Um... Where do you put the SD card though? That right there, I need to know how do you put the SD card. I think I'll find that out later, so. Hmm. But yeah, looks really nice. Cool. And you can actually uh, take it out by just pressing this button right here. One second. Yep. Slides just like that. 
Also press the other one. Boom. Slides like that. And put it back in. Oh shit, messed that up. <laughs> Just like that. So that's how it goes in and goes out. Yes! Very cool. So that right there is. Oh, but he got the screen dirty. God dang it. So let's put the switch right here. Because I do not want to mess it up. Just go right down my bed. Same thing with the Joy Cons. Uh, put it right down the bed. And see what else we have. Okay. So this right here is the HDMI cable. So you can go ahead and hook up the console to your TV. So that there we get. And here is the AC adapter. So you can go ahead and uh, charge it up. So it would be cool. Nice, not bad. Uh, what else do we want to go ahead and check out? Uh, oh, this is uh, you know the uh, the slip-ons to what's it called? It gives the name right here. Um, hold on a second, number four. These are the Joy-Con straps. So this is the one thing that people were having trouble uh, with. So, um, so basically, just uh, slide this like that. And you have to click them right there and this is how you get to go ahead and play the other consoles so you have the uh, triggers right here and you have the other buttons right here and you have the like that kind of like a controller you know you 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 know your retro controller so that's what how it is and uh to take it out uh, oh man don't take me mess this up <laughs> i know a lot of people are okay there we go so that right there slides off because I remember <laughs> there were some videos of people having uh, struggles taking this out. Um, so you just basically do that and uh, push the button and it slides right off. So so they fixed that. So that's really awesome because I know a lot of people had problems uh, with the uh, straps and all that stuff. So uh, when, they, when the console launched. So, you know, you have the uh, console, you know, just put the strap on. Kind of like the Nintendo Wii. Just in case if you accidentally, like, drop it. Just right there, it just hangs it right there, and you have the console like that. So yeah, that's a good. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. Boom! There we go. <laughs> Thank God, I waited two years to go ahead and get this console. So we're good. Uh, next thing we're looking at is the. Uh, oh yeah, this is the um, the what is this? The number seven, the Joy-Con grip. So this is be this is, so this is kind of like the controller for the Nintendo Switch. Um, if you don't like using the uh, you know the Joy Cons, just go ahead and uh, stick these on it, and uh, it will be kind of like a uh, controller. So how does this one work? Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was too far. So you just basically grab it, slide it in there, like that. Grab the other one, and uh, slide it like that. Boom, like that. And so this is the controller, <laughs> I guess. This is how the controller actually feels if you do not have the Pro Controller. So, yeah, this is how it feels. And this is how it looks. Looks kind of weird, you know. It's kind of like the. Uh, uh, it reminds you of the regular Game Boys, you know, not the uh, SP. Kind of like the other Game Boys, the Advance, the Game Boy Advance. So this that's what it reminds you of it. Yeah, but you can know, you can just uh, take these out. Uh, I wanna. There we go. Slide it off. You have to put some pressure on it, but not too much, so you don't break it. So yeah, so this is the kind of like the controller that you get if you don't want to just use the joysticks and all that stuff. So yeah, so this is the uh, controller, the grip. So that right there we get. And now I guess the last thing. Oh yeah, here's the other strap for the uh, the Joy Cons. And here is the last thing, which is the. Um, six the dock. So here's the dock right here. Uh, wrapped in the uh, <laughs> bubble wrap. Hmm. 
Yay, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to pop one, but for some reason that didn't work. So, here's the dock right here. Take the plastic off. So, yep, here is what the dock looks like. Uh, look on the back. You can open up. This is where you go ahead and put your AC adapter, your USB, and your uh, HDMI to hook it up to your TV. Uh, you can see right there. That's what it looks like right there. Close this up. And you see on the sides, you can put the USB others right here. Other USB cables. You see the logo of the switch. And here is where you put the um, Nintendo Switch on. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, um, hold on a, a second. I don't want to put this in the dark at the moment until I go ahead and put the um, uh, the screen protector. So I want to go ahead and put the screen protector on first and then I put it in the dark because I don't want to scratch the screen. So. Okay guys, so apparently I had to go ahead and deal with the phone call, so I apologize for that for kind of like skipping the video and all that, so yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, guys, so um, I was able to go ahead and put the uh, screen protector on. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but if I zoom in a little bit on the... Uh, uh, well, this freaking camera does not focus, which I hate it. Well, well the screen protector is on it, so I mean, uh, here is the thing with the screen protector so I took I peeled this off from the screen protector and it's uh it's right here so yeah it's in so now I'm able to go ahead and uh actually hold on a second it's a little bit of wiping off the fingerprints on the uh with this little tiny wipe <laughs> look at tiny this is so cute anyways so yeah so now uh we got the pre the screen protector on and now we could go ahead and put the uh, switch on it. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, do it this way so that we, you guys can see it. So how does this go? So I guess this goes like this. Uh, hold on a second. I want to put the joy sticks on before the joy cons on before I go ahead and uh, put this on. So I can slide this out. Got one. And uh, got two. Okay, we're good. So. Let me go ahead and, uh, oh, it's going to be really weird trying to do this with one hand, but I'll try to do this. So, let's see, I think this is, yeah, this is the way you're supposed to do it. And, so, this is how it goes in. So, if you want to go ahead and play it, uh, the system on your TV, just basically just, uh, grab it. Just grab a system like that. Have to be really careful not to drop this. And just like slide it in on the dock and boom just stays right there and uh, if you want to go ahead and take out the uh, you know the the joy cons just take them out so you can go ahead and play it you know kind of like the Wii so yeah and uh, with the uh, you know the poker controller that I have I just go ahead and uh, put it right here in the in the USB and the same thing with if I have my capture card that I want to go ahead and record gameplay just basically take this out and uh, just put in the you know the USB way right here for the uh, um for hold on a second I don't want to drop this the USB for the you know, the game the capture card and also the HDMI to hook this up to my TV so yeah so uh yeah guys so this right here is my my unboxing the Nintendo Switch so yeah guys I'm happy guys I'm happy that I'm able to go ahead and get the Nintendo Switch like I said I was not expecting to go ahead and get this um uh, <laughs> uh this today so i was expecting to go ahead and get this on black friday but since it's not on on sale for black friday i was like fuck it i'll just go ahead and get it so i can go ahead and play pokemon i don't want to get spoiled anymore i want to go ahead and play the game so that way uh i would avoid some spoilers and all that stuff so yeah so let's go ahead and uh you know we how do you say it let's go ahead and look back at the stuff that we get so uh, of course, we have the Nintendo Switch console with the Joy-Cons. Also, we have the, uh, you know, the grip for the Joy-Cons right here for the Nintendo Switch. We also have the, uh, you know, the strappies, the strip straps for the Joy-Cons to put it in. 
Uh, we have the uh, AC adapter right here. We also have the HDMI cable. And uh, also, last but not least, we have the dock. And also, you know, just to be, you know, safe guys, if you guys are getting a Nintendo Switch, get the screen protector. Uh, the one that I got was uh, this one, the Nyko screen protector. This is the one that I got for the Switch. And just in case if you guys aren't comfortable or aren't liking the uh, Joy-Cons, you know, get a, uh, you know, a Pro Controller. Just in case if you guys don't like the uh, Joy-Cons, but yeah. And uh, I think that's about it. There's nothing else I can actually uh, talk about. So yeah, really, really cool, guys. Oh man, it's going to be so freaking fun. It's going to be really fun, guys. Oh yeah, also, one thing. This is one thing that people have been talking about. And... Uh, you know, I just want to go ahead and do it, <laughs> just for the heck of it, because I, oh yeah, I forgot one more thing, the, uh, you know, uh, SD card, just in case, if there's no room in the Nintendo Switch. So, this is one thing that people have been saying about the cartridges of the Nintendo Switch games, and uh, they said that if you lick the cartridge, it's, it tastes bad, so, you know what? I just want to go ahead and do this shit because I've seen a lot of people do it and you know I don't want to be left out so let's see <laughs> let's see how it tastes uh, what I've heard people say it's kind of like burning uh, burning plastic or something like that I don't know but you know just in case if uh, things do not go well I have my Mountain Dew right here so I can uh, screw that so uh, yeah let's see how it goes so one two three booyah Hmm. Actually, let me go ahead and do it this side. That's not bad. That does not taste bad. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, there, there there is something. I mean, there's there's some um, there's a flavor in there. It, it's basically um. I guess the closest thing that I can say that it kind of reminds me of is, you know when you were little and you uh, took like a Sharpie pen and just put it in your mouth and the taste of the Sharpie pen tasted like really nasty? This is what the cartridge just reminds me of. It reminds me of uh, the um, uh, the taste of uh, one of the Sharpie pens that you get, one of the Sharpie walkers. So that right there is what the taste reminds me of. So. Wow, that wasn't really that bad. <laughs> a lot of people licked it and they kind of like freaked out on the taste, but it didn't taste that bad. Maybe because uh, I think maybe they kind of toned down on the cartridges. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, I can still feel the taste in my mouth, but um, it didn't affect me. So <laughs> I guess I'm kind of like one of the lucky people that actually did not get any of the bad taste. So yay, very good. Okay, sorry about that. I accidentally turned off my face cam, so <laughs> I had to go uh, uh, put this back again. Okay, so yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited. Uh, you know, for Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'm excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I just did an unboxing of it, so I'm all good. Um, I actually did the unboxing of the uh, of the uh, Steelbook Edition. So yeah, hope you guys uh, check that out. So, yeah, guys. Uh, yep. Got the Nintendo Switch, finally. I'm not left out, and uh, I'm happy, man. Happy that I got it, and uh, I can't wait to go ahead and play some cool games on it. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay cool, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Um, So, uh, I was able to go ahead and uh, download a game right here for the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to lower that volume down, so... <laughs> Yeah, so I was able to go ahead and download a game from Nintendo Switch, um, and the console is uh, good. You can see that it's on right now. Uh, the game that I downloaded is actually called Guns Core Cannoli. Uh, this game is fun. Uh, I played it before on the Xbox One, and it's a it's a really fun game. It's uh, one of those old school, um, you know, uh, 2D uh, action games and you can see right here that I could go ahead and when I hit the home screen Which is uh, this one right here. It actually uh, is uh, Goes right there and if I click it again goes back to the game 
mini core. Uh, why is this glitching now? Oh no, no. It's not a glitch. It's just uh, for some reason the uh, the screen on screen doesn't work <laughs> so good. Mixed in is all blurry and all that stuff, so yeah. So yeah, the game uh, it's very good, not bad. And uh, yep, let's go ahead and you know show you guys. Uh, <clears throat> actually, if I'm able to go ahead and do this, like, how is this gonna work? I have no idea. But if I'm able to go ahead and show you guys, um, okay. So how am I gonna do this? Okay, so jump forward, jump. I say do it. Then you go with the shooting, which I think is this. No, that's the grenade button. And here is the shooting, right there. Turn our character right there. So yeah, the game is uh, the controllers feel good. Controllers feel fine. And uh, you know the I I can honestly say that the quality looks it looks exactly like how you go ahead and play it on the PS4 or on the Xbox One. I mean. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it right here on the camera because uh, the camera doesn't pick it up good. But if you look at it, at you know, if you, if you're like right here in first person, if you guys can see it, it looks really nice. I mean, the HD quality looks really nice. It has the nice coloring. It looks like it's on a console, and you know, this is really good and really nice. And uh, unfortunately, I do not have Pokemon installed yet. I will be getting it installed and I cannot wait to go ahead and play it. So this is gonna be really fun. But anyways, guys, uh, I just wanted to go ahead and add this bonus to show you guys, uh, you know, some gameplay of the game and that I, you know, downloading to, you know, for, uh, to show you guys if it, if it runs good and all that stuff. And it's one and perfect, so that's really awesome. And uh, I was able to go ahead and install my SD card. It's uh, right here. You can see I installed it where the um, uh, stand is at, so that's where you put your SD card. And uh, yeah, and I also did try uh, playing the game, you know, with uh, removing the jo the Joy Cons. Well, it works perfect. It works good. So that's uh, really awesome, and uh, it's really cool how you can go ahead and just like you know, just uh, go to the uh, home screen and just go ahead and do the touch pads. Hold on a second. It's really hard doing it like this. So. See right there, if I want to go ahead and uh, play the game, just go ahead and uh, press it. Boom, goes perfect. So there it is, right there. So yeah, so uh, really awesome guys. And I'm really, really happy that I'm finally able to go ahead and be a part of people that have a Nintendo Switch. So that's really awesome. But anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Stay tuned guys. Bye.